with airplane peanuts. Here we go. Let's get a lady. This is the here. first person wearing a shirt, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> That's our audience. All right. Hey, Bill. Hey, Theo. This is Marissa from Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, so, Bill, I heard you say on, I believe it was Joe Rogan's podcast, that you really like the film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and you've seen it several times. And I know Theo said that he walked out halfway through it. Um, so I was just wondering maybe if you could talk about why you loved it so much and Theo, why you walked out halfway through it. Anyway, gang, gang. Well, this is where Bill and I don't talk anymore after this. No, no, I, if you didn't like it, you didn't like it. I absolutely <laughs> fucking loved it. I heard on your podcast you say that you loved it. Oh, my God. Dude, it's the best work uh, Leo's... I mean, Brad Pitt's great. First time you watch it, I was just like, I want to be, like, Brad Pitt's the guy I want to be. Yeah. And then the second time I watched it, I was like, oh, my God, I'm just like Leo's character. I have an emotional fucking mess. <laughs> well, I don't know what part you walked out in. But I walked out after they went to that house for the first time, after they met the old guy, and uh -huh. they were in the yard, and then his car was had a flat tire. Uh -huh. And at that point, I was like, I got to get out of here. I don't know what these guys are doing. You know, I felt like it was just kind of a waste of, I don't know. It just, I couldn't get into it, and I didn't know what was going on. And it made me feel uncomfortable. I was like, I got to get out of here. Because I started to feel like everybody knows what's going on, and I don't know what's going on, you know, I guess. Yeah, that's that's for you and the therapist, buddy. Yeah. If that happens well, to you at the fucking movies. If you think the whole, fuck, movie, the whole movie theater gives a shit about whether... <laughs> no, I don't think were you make, Were you making, like, audible noises that you didn't... Huh? <laughs> Whoa? Oh? Oh, my God. That's the man. only way they would know. Fuck, man. I don't know. I was so fucked up, man. Do you yeah, you do. Today? Yeah, you do. No, I really did. not You do. I didn't have the insider track, man. You do. I really didn't, though. <laughs> I really did it, man. Yeah. I'm. I'm not going to sit here and try to talk you into that masterpiece. It's one of my. I, it might be my favorite thing. That's he's what you done. said. That's unbelievable. Colin calls you Billy, but I fucking Bill. You I'm know just what immediately mean? noticing. A, I don't know about the chain. If it's if it's. <laughs> Yeah. Thick enough to be yeah. that warm, that level of confidence. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, but, that's, that's more of a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> when the chain's out, yeah, that's, he, has, he has on a fat chick ankle bracelet around yeah, his I fucking neck. No, yeah. it's, I say guy when the chain's out. Yeah, when okay. the chain's out. Yeah, but he does make a good point. It's not it's really not, a chain. It's more of an ankle bracelet on a big. Well, girl. yeah, my kid's mom was like, "Why are you wearing women's jewelry?" Yeah, I was like, "Shut up." But here's the thing: his mom yeah. bought him for that, and he uh, like oh, for high school, well, and then he found it in his room and yeah. he put it back on. My, I'm saying his face, it's too much Guido when it comes out. No, you know what it is? You've you've aged past that chain where it becomes a necklace. If you're like right. 18, I get it. This is his first right. one. Yeah. A yeah. relative bought it for him. Yeah, one time. Uh, I was in uh, Rome, right? One day with my wife, and we went to the Vatican to go take the tour of the Sistine Chapel. Yeah. So there's a way to... I don't know, we went through the whole fucking thing, and we're just sitting there, we come in, and we're looking at it, whatever, and we're standing in line. It took for fucking ever. So I say to my wife, I was going, you know, if I lived here, I'd open a bar across the street called the Seventeen Chapel. <laughs> she goes, what? I go, the Seventeen Chapel. She goes, what? I don't know. Six, 16 chapel? 17 chapel. It's like having the 19th hole. Oh, my God. Bar thing. And she just, she looked at me. Oh, my like, God. Like, oh, my God, I'm breeding with this. Oh, and she my goes, God. Bill, <laughs> it's the 17th chapel. It's the 16 chapel. And then all I could say, I did, all I could say was this. I just go, no, it isn't. <laughs> and, then, and then it was funny. Then I walked in. I walked in. And I looked up, and I, I didn't even like it. Oh. It's not even that big. It's like it's like the size of the side of this it's fucking not that thing. Big. He milked it. Oh. It should have taken way less time. I'm oh. telling you, they're paying him by the fucking hour. <laughs> and I'm gonna park on the seventh. <laughs> no, I have a lot of those. I have a lot. Oh Jesus! Don't die on us, man. Although I can imagine you're the room before it. You're like 15 and 16. <laughs> I was, I, was a, I thought it was the 16 Chapel. No, I'm bald. No, no, no. I'm mean, going bald. <laughs> I know, but did you? Because you still had some stuff res residue of hair. Residue. residue? Yeah. yeah, you had residue. You know what I mean? Yeah. You could have done I, a I, Chernobyl uh, thing that you were doing. But. I had... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you didn't. You just had to shave it. Yeah, it's one of those things. Are we going right now? Yeah, no, we, we don't. We, there's no there's no rules. But I'm, okay, just, okay. I'm just asking you a question. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to answer. I, I understand that. But why are you? Your head looks like you know um, Darth Vader when he took his fucking helmet off. Was <laughs> remember that when he was just all fucked up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What is that? Is that the? Uh, that's fine. You're Bill Burr, but uh, 
I'm, I'm trying to answer your question. Yeah, go ahead. I just process you coming out of the gate <laughs> shitting on me. Um, yeah. You know, when you start to lose your hair, you, you got three options. <laughs> yeah. You can. <laughs> yeah. And there's subsets to all of them. All right. Okay. You can do the Rogaine, the hair plugs, right. a system, a fucking, all of that. Propecia. Propecia. Propecia right. A fucking, uh, they glue some shit on your head. <laughs> right. They take some, some of your pube hair and you get an afro. Yeah. Or you can uh, just sort of let it happen. Which what you were doing, which I was like, that's the dope way to do it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad I had your approval. <laughs> or you can just say fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And do what I did. So I just said fuck it. Okay. But what and you, and and I do. Like, you, I love how you came at me aggressive, and now you're going. You got your, pan, <laughs> your little panda hands. I was. Up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I love how you attacked my little panda hands. Uh, that's what me, you I, look like. You look like a little panda. I know. I was just because when you took your shirt, uh, hat <laughs> you off, like a little adolescent bear. <laughs> You know, I was 19. I was freshman, sophomore, so I was acting like an idiot. We'll also doing up. a couple cycles of Winstrel. Yeah, at I was that on time. Winstrel at the time. Yeah, he did a couple um, cycles. It's, what are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, so a little steroids. So uh, Thank you. Yeah. I didn't yeah. know what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Steroids so, for basketball? Yeah. Well, just, you could move. I mean, I could just, you know, I could like tomahawk dunk. I, I was just like an a, a, being an athlete. Basketball was such a huge part of my life that my friends, you know, when I do comedy, if they you know do something with comedy, my friends from home, wait, they you came. couldn't dunk, and then you took roids, and then you could. No, I always could. I always could. Well, I couldn't always. I started being able to dunk when I was like sixteen. I did Winstrel once for like six weeks, so it was a small part of it. it you did a cycle. I did a cycle. Did a yeah. cycle. Yeah. Just happens. one cycle. Yeah, happens. And to be honest with you, when I did that cycle, I was my junior year in college. It was my worst year because I was dealing with a lot of anxiety and all bullshit from. Your balls shriveling up? <laughs> yeah, all that. <laughs> you could go between the legs a little easier that year. Yeah, my balls With the were anxiety. <laughs> but I, um, <laughs> it was just the way to communicate. I love that you felt at Division Three. I got to get on roids. I need, I need a competitive edge here. <laughs> yeah. We got to beat LaSalle Academy next week. Yeah. yeah. You know what fascinates me is like basically the first 16 or 17 years of my life. When I never, I mean, I took a couple of sips of my, you know, stole a beer here there from my dad, but I never really went out and tried to get drunk until I was like 16 or 17. But I went for like a decade and a half, like I was straight edge. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, and, but the thing was. Oh, you told kids you were straight edge? You're like, I don't drink, No, man, no, I'm good. I'm no, just out of being a kid. It's not like your first 10 years of your life, you're like, fuck, playground, man, I need a drink. I mean, yeah. that's, it's just not where your world is at. And the thing was, it's Pandora's box. Then once you catch a buzz. Yeah. Then it's just like, oh man, this is this other kind of living, and it's it's you know I I yeah I didn't understand that I was kind of using that as like a uh, I'm not saying I'm never gonna fucking drink again, but I, I I I had I had to like I kind of just had to like step back and just be like all right because you know the reality is I got a kid so I just didn't want to be that I'm like. Yeah, you don't want to be I'm, drunk when your yeah. kids are around. My fucking Lou Grant with a bottle of whiskey in the. Remember that on Mary Tyler Moore show? No, she'd have a rough that. day and she'd come in. And I don't would, remember the whole show. I can explain it to you. Yeah. If I can explain it to okay. you. <laughs> this fucking guy just. Ba I don't know what that is. All right. No, I believe I it. I don't know. I don't know. And the second I started to explain, like, I don't know the whole show. All right. I get it. I get it. I believe it's it. that comic ADD. Like, I, I don't want to fuck. <laughs> I'm not into it. I don't want to hear it. I got it. Your show. Go ahead. Continue. I, I remember. Uh, all right. Let's talk about old shows then. I we don't have to. I just was. It was so funny how you fucking you bailed twice on that. You made Patty me, Duke. What you about You made that? me feel like an asshole. Like that was the oh, 15th really time I fucking that. brought it up. Sorry. No <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore. One of the great ensemble fucking cast of all time. I do know she just died recently. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was going to bring up a more positive story about the show. But yeah, it's the second time. Oh, I bring man. up fucking George Michael. What was it, an AIDS event? Uh, some sort of gay thing? Well, I didn't say gay, bro. <laughs> but why Straight did you say AIDS? Because he had AIDS, man. No, he didn't. Did he? I, Jesus I, Christ. No, he dude. didn't. Well, people have been saying he did. <laughs> I think you are confusing it with gay. <laughs> no, I'm not. I didn't know he was gay. I knew that apparently he got AIDS in a park. That's what I heard. And no, was... he blew a guy in a porta potty and got busted for lewd activity. Oh. And then, you know, he, you know, had a little fucking, you know, he liked getting a little buzz at the end of the fucking day and maybe it got away from him. I think that's what happened. But like what I would like to focus on was how amazing his voice was and how talented he was. And I played and performed and stood in the same spot that this guy did. Yeah. That's what the point was. Not what he died of. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. And I wish it was What happened in your life? Did, uh, who'd you lose early on? You're no. really into death. 
Well, no. I mean, I remember listening. You don't want to get to know Mary Tyler Moore because you're afraid she's going to leave you too? <laughs> <laughs> I remember listening to uh, George Michael on the school bus when I would go to school. Okay. And I felt like, and I would always sit by Did myself. Did you feel like you were going to catch AIDS no. by doing that? Some sort of airborne <laughs> HIV through the fucking radio? I mean, bro, I was holding it up to my ear, you know? <laughs> I could feel my ass. In a roofless school bus. Right. Whatever the, the windborne radio aids was going to get me. 